Betting at Ramon, the second count of Barcelona, was a low-key chaotic evil villain. So the thing is that Betting at Ramon II killed his twin brother, Ramon Berk II. I know, they just switch around the first name and last name in order to not confuse people, I guess. Due to that, what happened is that there was a civil war. He had to make a compromise in order to actually stop the civil war. And he had to rule with his brother's four-year-old son, Ramon Berger III, for 11 years until he came of age. But during the meantime, Berger's Ramon's involvement in the turn of strife with the Moorish type of kingdoms brought him in conflict with El Cid, and that was a disaster. He was twice taken prisoner. And after that, he resignated and his life became more obscure. Most likely, he went as a pilgrimage or as a penance to Jerusalem, but there is also the possibility that he went there to try to conquest a kingdom for him. And he perished probably around the time of the First Crusade.